guest is a very talented actor starring in the new movie, The Dry, which opens in theaters and on demand May 21st. Here he is, Eric Bana! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, bud. Hey! Hi, Jimmy. It's great to see you, bud. I, I like your uh, room. This is the kind of fun thing about Zooms. I get to see the room. I like... Well, I've got to say, it's, uh, it's pretty unique uh, just coming down a flight of stairs instead of flying 24 hours to be on the show. <laughs> so it's pretty yeah. cool. You are... At what time is it now in Australia? Uh, it's about 7.30 in the morning. Wow. Thank you for doing our morning show, The Tonight Show. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> it's uh, a pleasure. Uh, is, this, is, is it uh, 7.30 in the morning tomorrow for me, or is it today? Who's no, living it's in the... tomorrow, mate. You're time traveling. It's it's tomorrow. It's uh, what day is it here? I've lost track. But we, yeah, we're ahead, mate. We're ahead on everything. We're ahead on everything. Okay, so just we have to remember <laughs> what's it, we're ahead. What's the future like? What do I have to uh, look forward to? Well, I can tell you that right now, even though uh, you know we're still in a pandemic, I'm able to go to the football every week and watch my team play with thirty or forty thousand other people. Um, so I guess that is what the future looks like for you also. Wow, that's fantastic. Can you also, just six random lottery numbers, just, uh, just, just to give to uh, us. No. All right, you don't want to do that. Um, uh, what have you, uh, how was quarantine treating you? Uh, did, did, you uh, did you go a little crazy or were you good at home? Do you know, I'd like to think that uh, I represent a little bit of a balance for your audience, and I'd like to make them feel better about themselves if I can share this, Jimmy. Um, I did nothing. I did not bake any sourdough. I <laughs> did not paint. I did not start a podcast. I did not plant a veggie garden. I did not upload a yoga video. I did not do a yoga video. I did nothing. That's exactly right. That's what I see. Wow. And now. <laughs> Now that you can do something, what are you doing? Uh, well, besides going to the football, I think the first thing I did was I was just dying to get out on one of my bikes. So I went mountain biking with a buddy of mine. And we had such a strict lockdown here where like, you couldn't travel more than like two or three miles from your home and we had a curfew. So when it, when it broke and you could get out, it was kind of like crazy. It was like a scene out of Mad Max. It was like, I just need to burn some gasoline. I just need to just burn. Just it was crazy out there. It was just like just Mad Max Two, you know, bonfires. ripping across the des desert. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about uh, your new movie, uh, uh, The Dry. Uh, congrats! It's got uh, amazing reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. I think it's like ninety-five percent. Uh, it's a hit already in Australia. It is based off of the best-selling book. Yeah, so um, I read the book by Jane Harper and loved it, and uh, we just desperately wanted to turn this into like a big cinematic version of, of this story, which, which we did, and it was a huge hit here in Australia, and we hope that uh, American audiences enjoy it. I tell you what, you can't fly to Australia right now, but at the end of this film, you're going to feel like you spent a couple hours in Australia in a little country town. That's, that's a promise. So it's, uh, so it's almost also like a travel movie, is what you're saying? <laughs> well, uh, it's uh, our depiction of this fictitious town of Kiowara is so accurate. You are going to feel like you were here. It is a whodunit, and I play a detective who's returning home um, because of a uh, funeral of his best friend, and we get the impression straight away that he's not welcome, and we find out that he's linked to a crime in the past. And so there's kind of like two crimes, one in the present, one in the past, that that need to be solved, and the audience will have some fun trying to trying to work out what happened. Yeah, and who sent you the note and all this stuff? It's if you, it's just insane. I love stuff like this. I'm going to freak out. And like, as so I, we got a trailer sent to us, so it's like you get a card that says like, you better, you got to come to the funeral. You lied. Luke lied. Yeah, and it's got it's got this sense of. Um, I'm in. Of, I'm in. Uh, I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. If I get that, I go what? 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 Wow, I'm in. Yeah, it has that sense of like having been forced to go to a school reunion you don't want to because I'm having to return to the country town that I grew up in like 20 years ago and, and try and uncover the, the truth of, of, of what occurred. And Genevieve O'Reilly's in the film with me and she's incredible as well and this amazing cast. But you will feel like you've spent a couple hours in Australia by the time you finish with this film. Uh, well, congrats on the great reviews, buddy. And I want to show everyone a clip. Here is Eric Banner in The Dry. Take a look at this. I was just closing up. Do you, do you want something? No, I'm okay. I'll just, um, my dad used to work here when I was a kid, so I was just reminiscing, you know? Falk? Yeah, Baron. Uh, Dr. Lee, Chris Lee. Right. 
So you knew the Hadlers? Yeah, you know everyone in this job. Yeah, sometimes too well, I bet. <laughs> hey, I was wondering with, um, with Luke, any obvious signs of distress? With Karen, like bruising or anything? You know I can't tell you that. Welcome home. Thanks. Yeah! Man, come on! Eric Banner, everybody, check out The Dry in theaters and on demand this Friday. Have the best day, bud. Thank you so much for coming Thank on you, our mate. show. Hey, hey.